At an altitude of over 11,500 feet in the Himalayas, people once depended entirely on a single mountain pass called Zoji La. Just a few hours of heavy snowfall could cause the only route across the mountains to disappear from the transportation map for months, completely isolating the region on the other side. Today, however, instead of accepting that kind of isolation, modern engineering has chosen a bolder approach, going straight through the mountain. Zojila Tunnel, a tunnel more than 8.7 miles long, was excavated deep beneath the Himalayas to keep traffic moving year-round, despite ice, landslides, and extreme weather. So how was the Zojila Tunnel built? In today's video, join Mandarin as we explore how engineers conquered one of the most harsh and geologically complex terrains in the world. A technical feat designed to keep connections alive in all weather conditions. The Himalayas are characterized by extremely rugged terrain, making travel reliant on winding and hazardous mountain roads. A prime example is Zoji La Pass, located at an elevation of approximately 11,575 feet above sea level. The pass connects the Kashmir Valley with the Ladakh Plateau, serving as a lifeline between two regions with completely different geography and climate. For decades, this was the only route for transporting goods, fuel, and troops to Ladakh. Yet it is blocked by snow for five to six months each year, leaving the region nearly isolated during winter. To resolve this strategic bottleneck, India launched the Zojila Tunnel, a Himalayan mountain tunnel approximately 8.7 miles long, running deep beneath the Zojila Pass. This is a two-lane road tunnel designed to ensure year-round connectivity, despite snowstorms, landslides, and temperatures dropping below freezing. Here, thousands of workers had to operate day and night in severely oxygen-deprived conditions, confronting meltwater from glaciers that continuously seeped into a 45 million year old rock mass. With a total investment of nearly 1 billion US dollars, the Zojila Tunnel not only reduces travel time from three hours to just 20 minutes, but also establishes a state of always on connectivity for Ladakh. This is not merely a transportation project, but a strategic infrastructure asset, strengthening logistics, national security, and reshaping the geopolitical balance along the northern frontier of South Asia. However, carrying out the project amid the harsh natural conditions of the Himalayas posed a wide range of construction challenges, implemented at an elevation of approximately 11,500 feet above sea level. The Zojila Tunnel is expected once completed to create a fast and stable connection between the two regions. At this altitude, the amount of oxygen in the air is only about 60% of that at sea level, directly affecting human work capacity. Winter temperatures frequently drop below negative four degrees Fahrenheit, while strong winds and heavy snowfall leave the construction site nearly isolated for several months each year. As a result, the first step of the project was not drilling into the mountain, but creating an environment safe enough for people and machinery to survive and operate over the long term. Worker accommodations were built using highly insulated prefabricated structures, equipped with heating systems, supplemental oxygen supply, and medical facilities dedicated to monitoring altitude-related health issues. The workforce operated on short rotating shifts, allowing the body time to adapt, rather than remaining on site for extended periods, as is typical at lowland construction sites. In parallel, Independent power generation stations were installed to provide a stable electricity supply for the entire site. Since the high-altitude regional power grid is not reliable enough for a project that requires 24-7 operation. Unlike many modern tunnels in Europe or East Asia, where massive tunnel boring machines can operate continuously through relatively stable rock formations, the Zojila Tunnel is being built in a completely different context. The tunnel alignment runs deep within the Himalayas, a geologically young mountain system where rock layers are still under constant stress from the ongoing collision of tectonic plates. Within a very short distance, geological conditions can change abruptly, from solid, intact rock to fractured rock, weakly layered strata, heavily weathered zones, or areas strongly influenced by groundwater. This lack of uniformity makes the use of tunnel boring machines, 
Designed to perform reliably in stable and predictable geology, far too risky. A single unexpected change in rock strength, ground pressure, or water inflow could trap the machine deep inside the mountain, potentially bringing the entire project to a prolonged standstill. Faced with these risks, the Zojila Tunnel Project adopted a more flexible construction approach. Instead of continuous excavation using a fixed machine, the tunnel is driven in small, incremental steps, allowing engineers to adjust their methods in real time based on the actual conditions inside the mountain. The excavation process is divided into repetitive cycles, beginning with drilling small holes into the rock face ahead. Based on survey data and direct on-site observations, the location, depth, and angle of each drill hole are carefully calculated to break the rock precisely, creating a new tunnel face while maintaining overall stability. This is followed by controlled blasting, using carefully measured amounts of explosives. The detonators are not triggered simultaneously, but in a very rapid sequence, separated by only a few milliseconds. This technique helps limit vibration transmission and reduces the risk of destabilizing the tunnel roof and sidewalls. Immediately after each blasting round, work is temporarily halted to activate high-capacity ventilation systems that extract blast fumes, rock dust, and toxic gases from inside the tunnel. In the confined, oxygen-depleted environment of high-altitude mountains, maintaining air quality is a matter of survival. Only after monitoring instruments confirm that conditions are safe are workers allowed to re-enter and resume operations. The fragmented rock produced by blasting is then cleared to expose the new tunnel face and prepare the surface for the next reinforcement stage. Temporary support measures are installed to stabilize the tunnel roof and sidewalls, preventing further movement of the surrounding rock mass. Once all conditions are secured, a new excavation cycle begins. To reduce the overall construction timeline, the project was organized to excavate simultaneously from two opposite tunnel portals. This approach allows for flexible allocation of manpower and equipment, while accelerating progress whenever conditions permit. On average, each excavation face advances more than 9 feet per day. A figure that may sound modest, but under the complex geological conditions and harsh environment of the Himalayas, it is a carefully calculated pace designed to ensure safety. Every completed section of tunnel is the result of close coordination between engineering, on-site experience, and the continuous adaptability of human effort in one of the most challenging construction environments in the world. In the complex geological conditions of the Himalayas, time is a critical factor determining tunnel safety. If the newly excavated tunnel surface is left exposed for too long, even a minor vibration or a sudden increase in groundwater pressure can cause cracking or even localized roof collapse. Therefore, tunnel surface stabilization is a mandatory step and is carried out almost immediately after each excavation cycle. The first measure is the application of fast-setting shotcrete directly onto the entire newly formed tunnel surface. Under low temperature conditions, the concrete mix design and setting time are carefully adjusted to achieve sufficient strength within a short period. At the same time, long steel rock bolts are drilled deep into the surrounding rock mass to tie together fragmented geological layers, forming a more stable composite structure and redistributing stresses generated during excavation. In sections with weak geology or higher risk, steel support ribs in an arched configuration are installed as additional reinforcement to preserve the tunnel shape. The combined use of shotcrete, rock bolts, and steel ribs allows the construction team to control stability meter by meter, transforming a space freshly disturbed by blasting into a structure safe enough to continue excavation in a constantly changing geological environment. Groundwater and meltwater from snow and ice pose a silent threat to tunnels in high mountain regions, and at Zagula, this risk is especially severe because the tunnel alignment runs directly beneath glaciers and heavily fractured rock layers of the Himalayas. Water does not only flow in visible streams, but also seeps through countless microfractures, gradually penetrating the concrete and accumulating inside the tunnel over time. When temperatures drop below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, this water freezes, expands, 
and generates internal pressure within the structure. Repeated freeze-thaw cycles over the seasons can cause concrete cracking, spalling, and a progressive loss of load-bearing capacity, directly affecting the long-term durability and safety of the tunnel. For this reason, at the Zojula Tunnel, drainage and waterproofing systems are implemented in parallel with excavation and surface support works. Seeping water is collected immediately at the tunnel invert and channeled out through dedicated drainage pipes, while waterproofing layers act as a barrier to prevent water from penetrating deeper into the structural lining. This combined approach allows groundwater to be controlled at an early stage, ensuring stable tunnel operation under the harsh freeze-thaw conditions characteristic of the Himalayas. Once excavation and primary stabilization of the Zojila Tunnel were completed, construction of the tunnel invert was carried out. This structural layer serves to lock the geometry of the entire tunnel cross-section, carry long-term loads, and provide a permanent foundation for the technical systems installed above. When the main structural components of the Zojila Tunnel were fully formed and overall stability had been achieved, the project entered a completely different phase. The transition from an active construction site to a continuously operating infrastructure system. At this stage, the focus was no longer on advancing additional meters of tunnel, but on ensuring that the internal space could operate safely, reliably, and under full control throughout its expected service life of several decades. The entire tunnel surface was comprehensively waterproofed to prevent groundwater and meltwater from penetrating the structure reducing the risk of freezing, corrosion, and long-term deterioration under the harsh Himalayan climate. Following the waterproofing layer, a lighting system was installed along the full length of the tunnel, designed to operate reliably in damp, cold, and dusty conditions. The lighting not only supports traffic operations, but also maintains visibility for inspection, maintenance, and emergency response activities. In parallel, the ventilation system was upgraded from construction mode to long-term operational mode, incorporating high-capacity fans, fixed ducting, and automated control systems capable of adjusting airflow based on traffic density and internal tunnel conditions. A network of safety sensors was installed throughout the tunnel, continuously monitoring air quality, toxic gas concentrations, temperature, smoke, and other abnormal indicators with all data transmitted to a central control center for real-time supervision. In the event of incidents such as fires or traffic accidents, the ventilation system can rapidly reverse airflow, extracting smoke and hot gases from the affected area while creating a safe air corridor for people and vehicles to evacuate. Surveillance cameras and emergency communication systems are positioned at appropriate intervals along the tunnel, enabling early incident detection and providing guidance to those inside during emergency situations. It is this combination of durable structural works and proactive technical systems that has transformed the Zogala Tunnel from an excavated space within a mountain into a year-round transportation corridor capable of operating reliably despite the harsh conditions outside. The entire construction process of the Zojila Tunnel shows that this is not merely a mountain crossing transportation project, but a sustained effort to control an environment that was never meant to host modern infrastructure. From creating temporary living conditions for workers, managing air quality and temperature, to drilling, blasting, structural reinforcement, and the installation of long-term operational systems, every step serves a single purpose transforming a route that was once blocked by snow for months each year into a year-round transportation corridor. This is where modern engineering begins to redefine how humans move through some of the harshest mountain ranges on Earth. If Zojila Pass represents the harsh challenges of the Himalayas, then the Zojila Tunnel is the answer offered by modern engineering. Instead of accepting being cut off by nature, Humans chose to drive straight through the mountain to sustain the flow of transportation, logistics, and life itself. The Zojala project does not only change the transportation map, but also reshapes how humans approach some of the world's most rugged terrain. But the Zojala Tunnel is not a standalone project. It is one link in a chain of works where humans choose to cut through high mountains, 
span deep valleys, and build infrastructure in places once thought impossible. Don't forget to follow Mandarin Tech so you don't miss the world's most impressive engineering projects.